Heart failure is when the heart is unable to pump the blood properly. And that can happen either because the heart is too weak and then it's not able to push the blood strong enough to supply the blood flow to all the organs. Heart failure also occurs when the heart is stiff and then cannot handle the blood flow well. And what happens is that the blood flow backs up to the lungs. There are multiple causes that lead to heart failure and a lot of these causes are already presented early in our lives. For example, high blood pressure. Patients who have diabetes or obesity, they have a higher risk of developing heart failure in the longer term. There are two types of heart failure that we classify into two different types of categories. You have preserved and reduced. When you're looking at preserved ejection fraction, you're looking at a stiffening of the heart. When you're looking at reduced ejection fraction, you have an enlargement of the heart. Signs and symptoms of heart failure can include shortness of breath, abdominal distension, swelling in your lower extremities. There are times when you find yourself not being able to sleep at night, you need more pillows to be in a more upright position, or you wake up gasping for air. Heart failure is not a death sentence. We look at heart failure as a diagnosis that we can help you manage to improve your quality of life for you and your family members. At UC Davis, we have a comprehensive heart failure program. We say comprehensive because it's a disease that has to be approached from multiple sides. It needs the input of several specialists with different background in terms of their knowledge. Our goal is to give you the best quality of life that we can with your family you know, for as long as possible. Together as a team, we will decide with you what's best for you going forward.